I want to introduce you to the static website I have created to enhance the teaching and learning of internet topics in the syllabus. So on my drive, I have a folder, Sir Eric, within which I have a lot of folders, and one of it is India file. Then I open Dreamweaver, that's the application or the language used in creating the project. Here I have a lot of scripted projects, but I want to open school project one. At default, it can be opened with Internet Explorer browser, but I want to use Google Chrome. So you right click, you go to open with, you click on your desired browser. So here we are, and on our screen, we can see Naylor School websites. It is not yet hosted on the internet. Now, in the Form 2 syllabus, they are to look at how to browse through web pages using hyperlink and also knowing the features of a hyperlink. And when you open any website, the first page you see is technically called home page so this is the home page of Nilo SD school website the starting page of this website then the characteristics features of a hyperlink is that when you position the mouse pointer on it it changes from arrow shape to the shape of a hand so you can see that upon positioning the mouse pointer on this image it has changed the mouse pointer to the shape of a hand so it tells us that this image is a hyperlink it links another image or text so let's click and see we can see that it has moved us from that page to a new web page so in simple terms we explain a hyperlink as any electronic document being text video music which moves a user from one web page to another web page or from one document to another document then they are also to know the part of a browser so here is the title bar showing the control buttons the minimize button here either the restore or maximize button and the close button it also shows the new tab which we use to open additional um, additional tab or window to embark on an, another project so let's go back to our website page so here we also have this section which we call the navigation but the navigation bar shows the back button the forward button the refresh or reload button so we use the back button to move to a previously visited web page and we use the forward button to move to a current page ahead of the page on which you find yourself and the refresh button is used to fetch for latest information In 2018 BC, a browser window was given for students to name the parts as we have done, and they were asked to explain the function of the back button, forward button, refresh button, and the stop button. The stop button used to terminate uploading page. And they were also asked to name the address bar and state its function. So here you can see that the address bar contains the uniform resource locator. That's the source of this um, page, as you can see. All right. So we have looked at one characteristic feature, feature of a hyperlink another one is that when it is 
test when the hyperlink is in a test form it is usually blue so you can see and it is normally underlined or it looks like it is underlined so here when we click on this test it means it can take us to another page so this test is linked to this page hence the name hyperlink now this image shows the school cadet formed by Mr. Rika Santi in 2009 when I was posted to the school as a vibrant youth member of my church and the leading dramedia in the district. I seized the opportunity to train young people as uh, in, in the school cadet and this has sustained the interest of some students who used to exempt themselves from school more often. So this is the school cadet performing at the second speech and prize giving day of the school. This image is also a hyperlink. Upon clicking on it, it moves you to another web page showing the personalities who came to raise the occasion. Here is Nelo School, represent uh, Nelo School cadet representing the school in the independent marching pass competition, and we placed it in 2012, and in 2014 we went back in the competition and we took the first position. So here, part of the website is also used to teach students how to fill online form. So here, this has a space to type, which we termed as test field. So here, my first name, Eric Asumeni. Then other name, oh, sorry, other name, Asante. Then I can type my password. That's the secret code which prevents unauthorized people from accessing your account. Here I must indicate my gender, email. I click to check. Then am I? A current student or student I should be able to indicate so here we use this section and other part to teach students how to fill online form which is in the primary syllabus primary 4 primary 5 and 6 so this website is very useful and it is supporting us in the teaching and learning of the ICT so this is the school cadets as you can see, ready to match at the Temaspor Stadium. So, all these are hyperlink. And this test too is a hyperlink. Upon clicking on it, it can move you from this web page to another web page. So, it has brought, brought us to a place where they want to solicit for our information a form so here candidate name mm -hmm. red number so you browse for your file Where you have your picture, you go there, then you browse for. So let's see this picture. So a very useful learning material. So you indicate your year, you indicate your months, 
you indicate your day so select course first option you choose using the checkbox second course you choose in that order so you indicate your level you have completed the number of subject passed everything is there so you indicate your country I'm a Ghanaian my city Accra then my address the tema box nt103 you type it in the text box so if you have any signature you browse for it after you have finished everything you click on submit and it brings you to the home page again so this is a static website I have designed and it is supporting both the primary and the JHS teachers to teach all the internet topics as expected. Thank you.